Hello, in this new video, I'm going to show you how to create a list like this one, which is really simple. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is to add two nulls. Next, we need some objects. So let's add some objects. I'm going to use this cube, this pyramid, the oil tank, and a cylinder. I'm going to make all of these ones editable by pressing C or right here. Now let's change the null names. The first one will be the control for this. The second one will be the list. Put this list inside the control and select all these objects and put them inside this list. I have four objects right here. Select the control one, go to user data, add user data. Go to data type, and change it to integer and in here let's change the interface to cycle now in here we need to put a number semicolon and then the name that we want to use for all these objects but we need to start with zero so let's put zero semicolon and the first one will be i'm going to name it tube hit enter one semicolon the second one will be oil the third one will be pyramid and the last one semicolon will be just a regular cube change the name you could put any name that you wanted shape and select a default in this case i'm going to put the tube and click ok next we need to right click on the controls cinema 4d tax Expresso. In this Expresso, we need to drag this control right here. Click on the red corner, User Data, Shape, which is the new control that we create. Next, drag this list right here. Click on the blue corner, Basic Properties, Visible in Editor, Visible in Render, and Object. Right click on this area, New Node, Expresso iterator and select object list we need to put all these objects right here let's select all of these ones and drag them all right click here new node expresso logic compare right click again new node expresso logic condition and the last one right click new node expresso general object index Connect the object list right here on instance. Connect this index inside the input 2 and the shape input 1. You need to connect the output compare to the switch and also the object index instance to object. Now connect the condition 1 to visible in editor and visible in render. As you can see right now, nothing happens at all. But if you notice this, we have these green lines right here. We need to change this. First, select the compare, change the real to integer. Next, select condition, parameters 1 and 2. And now, as you can see, we have one on and the other ones are off. So let's check. It works. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Bye.